since we have been traveling in our van with two e-bikes on board, we have been discovering some amazing campgrounds with biking access. These sort of campgrounds are often pretty hard to find, but campgrounds that have trails that you can get to right from your campsite. So we're going to share some of our tips on how we find them and what some of our favorites of the past year and a half have been. Stand on the path that I've chosen straight up. Come my way and I'll see you at the top. We've now been traveling with our Ejo Epic Swan e-bikes. Uh, we have a whole post and video on those. We got those about a year and a half ago now. We have mm -hmm. 1,500 miles on them. Spoiler alert, we still love them. <laughs> still love them. <laughs> they um, have been fantastic. Yeah, they have, they have been perfect things for us to travel with in the van because they go onto our swing out bike racks so easily and they come off very easily. And when we park well, our... not so easily that they fall off on the road or Well, anything. yes, no, not that easily. But no, they, they come on and off easily so that when we get to a campground, it's no hesitation to just pop the bikes off and let's go out and explore. And But in particular, we want to explore more than just the campground. We want to explore cool places beyond so we really put a lot of effort into seeking out campgrounds that connect to long trail networks to go explore with yeah like rails to trails and other places sometimes mountain biking trails that are low level easy <laughs> yes <laughs> um, but we have found some great locations now of course when we don't find those we do use the bikes to get around there are our transportation when we are at camp we are lazy we don't like to break camp to go out and explore explore or get groceries or things like that we usually do all of those errands on our way into camp and we often do stop on the way to a campground if we found a trail that isn't at the campground and we'll explore do, that kind of yeah do an afternoon of riding and do a couple hours on the on the bikes and stuff but once we're at a camp we want to just be able to ride straight from our site and campgrounds you sometimes see campgrounds say easy access to the blah, blah 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 trail but you get to the final the details and you're like no that's like a four mile drive to the trailhead that's that's pointless when we're in the van we're not going to drive four miles put our bikes on the van and drive four miles, take them off again, go for a bike ride, and do reverse to come back. No, that's that's not us. We want to find the cool campgrounds with access to biking. And there are a lot of them out there, but it's not something, it's not like a search filter that we <laughs> no. have found on any of the RV park sites. And all the trail sites don't tend to have a campground filter. So you kind of have to squish multiple resources together to find them and you've gotten really proficient at it. what are you doing so um a couple things it's kind of a, almost like a, a a bit of a game and it helps to do it on a computer where you can put two windows side by side or something or use your phone and a computer simultaneously but the one thing i really like is google maps has a bike trail view and you turn that on turn on that layer and you'll see green lines on a map that show you trails and if you start to zoom in in areas you're looking for campgrounds, you might start seeing the interesting trails and then, well, search for campgrounds and see, are they close? Do they get anywhere close to overlapping? So that helps find, but a lot of those are just like neighborhood trails and stuff, not necessarily the cool big ones. Um, the other app and tool I use a lot is uh, the Trail Link website and also their app, which has reviews and listings of a lot of the big long you know 10 mile 5 mile 20 mile 100 mile long mega trails but that has no information about camping whatsoever on it so i'll look at some of those really cool trails and start saying where can i find a campground that might potentially have access to some of those really really neat trails and then start to hunt for that and that's where Cherie's process actually starts to really help. So a lot of times in our travel planning, we'll kind of come together and say, which direction do we want to head? Maybe we have a person that we want to meet up with, an event we're going to, or a, an attraction that we haven't been to before that we want to go and see. So we kind of set the general direction that we're heading and we don't do our planning more than about a week in advance. Right. We're, we don't, we're not like sit down and plan six months in advance. We're, we kind of put aside a couple hours every week to plan the week ahead and make our reservations. That if works. we need them, yeah. Yeah, and that works really well for us. Um, so once we have the direction set of what the next segment's going to be, how far we want to go, I'm going onto campground review sites. I love Campendium for that. And I will go onto their site and I'll start looking for top rated campgrounds kind of in the general area. And I'm looking for people who have mentioned bike trail rev uh, in their reviews, or I'm clicking <laughs> through to the campground site to see if they mention 
uh, bike trails. And sometimes I find them, sometimes he finds them. Mm -hmm. And then we, we'll go and then research further and say, oh, are, is this a campground we're comfortable with? Is, this... Is, is this campground mentioning the bike trails being nearby or immediately accessible? And that's all uh, gotcha we got to be very careful with. So, uh, so those are the methods that we've been using. If you have a better method, <laughs> let us know. I wish there was a simple filter. It's like find cool bike trails. Cause I mean, some of the, some of the things like, uh, uh RV park reviews that's tied into RV troopers it has a bike search as far as their campgrounds go, but that's campgrounds that have biking. When people, you read the reviews, people mark that because their kids rode in circles in the campground and not a that's real not trail. What we're looking so the, for. the filter is basically useless. We're looking to get out and do five, 15, 30 mile rides. Yeah, we've done that. 30 miles is 37. Awesome. Yes. We did. And that was a great campground that we did this summer. Uh, Freeze, Virginia. It was at the New River Trail in Virginia. <laughs> and this is a privately owned campground, beautifully done. Uh, full hookups. It's 50 bucks a night. And right across the street is access to the New River Trail system, which gives you access to like 70 miles of trail all along a river. Yeah, it's old, rail, old rails to trails and just beautiful. So there's no cars, there's no traffic. There's just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous through the woods, by the river, uh, some old trestles to cross. That is like one of the top. That that is actually one of the, the best ones we've run across. But we've had several mm -hmm. other really amazing ones. Okay. Uh, what is the one in uh, Ohio, Butler, Ohio, that we did? Okay. Butler, Ohio this was a river time. trail crossing in uh, Butler, Ohio. This is one I found using the Trail Link app. And it's like, there seems to be an interesting trail here. And I was reading the reviews on the Trail Link. And it said, you know, one of the, the access points would cross past a campground. And I was like, campground, went for it, looked for it. And we usually don't prefer commercial campgrounds, but we're like, okay, this one's right on the trail. Let's check it out, see if it's any good. It was still pretty affordable and low key and it's chill. Passport America. We got it for like oh, 20 bucks a night. Yeah, and yeah, once we realized it's Passport America, it's like, basically it's so cheap and it's right on this beautiful, very little known trail, Rails to Trails project that goes between two towns and this campground's right in the middle. You go out to the campground to the right and ice it's cream. like five miles to Dole Whip and a wonderful little ice cream parlor. And you go out the trail to the left, and it's like eight miles to, uh, we found a gluten-free pizza restaurant with amazing food and, you know, outside patio and stuff. So we, you know, had bike adventures and food combined. And it was We needed the trail. biking to work <laughs> off the food and the ice cream, but it all worked out. It's balance, right? <laughs> yeah. Th those are kind of the best, <laughs> best trails is, you know, we love finding campers that have you know, at least two or three directions you can go on trails and there's some place to go and do something, you know, get a treat or food and then come back to make it interesting, you know, give it a, a destination. And something to do. Uh, we recently did, uh, what's that one in Kane, Pennsylvania that you found on the way Oh, up? yes. Uh, that Kane, was a um, beautiful one. High Pines Campground. Um, and this one, because the campground is is across the street in a block on a slightly busy road away from a trailhead access. And the trail was just completed last year. So it's really not on any maps or review sites. Google doesn't have this one yet for this part of it. But we, I was able to research and it's like, this should work. We crossed our fingers and went there and we're hoping and indeed, when we checked into the campground, they told us where he had to zigzag to get into the trail. But the um, uh, Kinzua Bridge State Park um, is where the end of this trail is. Like it's seven a, miles. Yeah, it was actually a little more than that, I think. Seven, eight. It was, it yeah. was a, a nice ride out and back. Yeah, and and there was ice cream on the way, <laughs> and there was an ice cream parlor, and uh, yeah, really good one. But then the Kinzua Bridge uh, is an old, it used to be the the tallest, longest railroad bridge in the world, and it a tornado took it out in the eighties, nineties, I think, and they've now turned what's remaining into a skyway where you kind of go out over this valley and are looking down everywhere. So it was a really exciting thing to be able to bike the old rails route right to this sky bridge and then walk out onto it and have this incredible view. And it made the kind of, the, it was like a really fun end to that biking adventure. And then you had the bike back. Yes. Then so you it wasn't the back. end to the Yes. Okay. Adventure. But the, and the campground was, <laughs> was relatively nice. It wasn't very busy. I think it was mm -hmm. a great little spot and it was perfect. Yeah. Another one we've had on our recent travels was actually, we found this is a uh, Traverse City State Park. Oh in uh traverse city michigan yes and yeah good find as it's like oh the state park mentions that the this trail goes right behind it and we found how it connects and it's the tart trail the traverse area regional something i think but it's a great trail network the part behind the the campground is kind of sunny and kind of dull but then you get into it goes right to downtown traverse city goes along the sides of uh, the grand traverse bay and there's like one side of it that goes around a, a loop around a lake that was just 
lusciously beautiful. And that was also another new trail that wasn't even in Google yet. It was still brand and then, new. And then all along the trail system, there's all sorts of places to stop for ice cream. <laughs> we have a thing, don't we? we? We do have a thing. We do have a thing. <laughs> and uh, uh, and dining. So we were able to go get takeout food and stuff like that, uh, do a little bike trip. So it was it was great. We really enjoyed yeah. that stay. And of course, Traverse, the Traverse City State Park is also has a bridge right over to the beach to go swimming in Lake Michigan. So it's yeah. an awesome park. Yeah. Crowded park, but it's a nice park. <laughs> Now, some of the highlights from our last summer of, of traveling around, um, one was the St. Johnsville Marina and Campground, was we were hunting for a, a campground, somebody will be, might be there by, and why not as well, but we were hunting for a campground that was along the Erie Canal because there's amazing, the you know, Erie Canal towpath has been turned into a, a trail that you can basically go from New York City to um, Buffalo, New York. It's like immense amount of trails, but there's not a lot of campgrounds that are right on the trail system. So we found this one in uh, St. Johnsville, New York, that had beautiful access to the trail along the canal, yep. which was yep. wonderful. We could explore both ways and about a half mile walk away there. You guessed it, ice and cream. ice cream. Yes, more ice cream. Seems to go hand in hand here. Yes, it does. Uh, and speaking of uh, towpaths, uh, before that we did one in Brunswick, Maryland, oh. uh, Brunswick Family Campground. The campground, ah, I was not a fan of the campground, very pricey and not great, but it's right along the CNO. The CNO Canal, this is the old canal that went from Washington, D.C. all the way up to Cumberland, Maryland, and then the, the trail is now, it's now a, a national scenic trail and system, and basically you can ride your bike or hike from Washington, D.C. to Cumberland to Pittsburgh. And it, someday I'd like to do the whole thing by bike, but there's very few campgrounds that are actually adjacent to this incredibly beautiful trail. But Brunswick Family Campground in it Brunswick, runs Maryland. runs right through it. Runs it's right actually, through it. You have to drive on the trail to get to the campground. Yes. That's yeah. how much is on it. Yes, and then, and then it's about 11 miles from there, bike ride to um, Harper's Ferry, which so you can, you can bike ride up the canal and then explore the, the town, mm -hmm. the historic yep. there's town, a, there's National a... Park bike racks right there. You can lock your bike, walk across the train bridge and go over and explore this historic town. There is ice cream there. <laughs> yes. People are going to think you have a problem <laughs> or a solution. Solution. A solution, to, solution. To, to getting a sugar rush for <laughs> heading back after the bike ride. Um, and then some of the most epic biking we have done is actually, we stayed at Liberty Harbor Marina in um, Jersey City, uh, right across RV from the- RV Park too. Yeah, the RV Park and Marina, um, right across from the Statue of Liberty, right across from Manhattan and the skyline, and right by the ferry to get to New York. So there's great trails on the Jersey side, or you just hop on the ferry, which is very affordable. And there is, I was blown away by biking on in Manhattan so many of the roads have been turned into bike lanes people are really friendly and courteous mostly mostly uh, there's a lot of people biking so there's a lot of traffic bike traffic but the the bike trails and the stuff to do is just off the charts so explore manhattan by bike that was, it was awesome amazing a hundred dollar a night rv Campground. stay but worth it great access uh there are so many more on this <laughs> list uh, we do have a blog post that goes along with this we got links to a lot of this and we talked more about some of our favorite parks in the last few years i do want to mention the marjorie harris, harris car across florida greenway yeah so this is the old barge canal that was under construction that was going to go from basically jacksonville to Dunham? out to the gulf, gulf coast yeah. yeah so it's going to be a shortcut across florida for barges and environmentalists yeah. stopped it yay um and but there's this right of way across the entire state that is they made into a greenway and there's a network of three parks uh ross prairie shangri-la and santos and there's a 16 mile paved bike trail that they made in the style of a, the, with the curves and the flow of a mountain bike trail. But paved. That goes between them all. And then there's a whole network of mountain bike trails off of it. Some advanced, some very basic that are really fun for our style of biking. Yeah, so it's uh, biking paradise. So yeah, we just did a, we spent like a couple, a week or so doing all three of the campgrounds in succession and just exploring from different parts on it and that was that's an amazing that's one of my favorite yeah. Florida. and what, one of the highlights of that is actually have a land bridge that goes over the interstate i guess i-75 mm -hmm. is uh yes yeah, so they have a, a land bridge where that just the the nature extends right up and over the freeway and the bike trails and everything else and bears i guess walk across this as well so you get to experience going across the freeway 
on a kind on of bike. mountain bikey trail. So yep. it's really kind of cool. Yeah. And not too far from there down in the Sebring area is Alafia State Park, which is kind of a playground for mountain bikes as well. Several easy bike trails that- So much fun. We, we, we've gone there. That's just kind of one of our getaways when we're in Sanford. And right there in Sanford actually has great bike trails where our boat is. Um, and then there are two RV parks, uh, Lake Monroe County and uh, Blue Spring State Park that are along the same bike network that we use that goes right through our Connects marina. Just so many interesting bike trails. But you know, we found a lot of examples, but overall it is really hard to find campgrounds or, or actually sometimes harvest host stays that are adjacent to great biking. Um, and we wish it was easier. So if you have favorites and tips and everything, you know, share them in the comments, share them on our blog posts and stuff, um, because we're always looking for other cool new places and we'll share our favorites and uh, you share yours and we'll learn from each other. So happy camping and biking and vanning. And, 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 yeah. and ice cream. And ice Forget cream. Ice and cream. yeah, share your favorite ice cream places too. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. And yeah, it's time to go find another place to go biking. I think we have some trails lined up for tomorrow. We do? Yeah, over at the other side in Shelbyville. And, and there's ice cream. And there is ice cream. Soft serve. I, yeah, I, I usually try and triangulate ice cream, biking, <laughs> camping, all in an easy, accessible thing. And we've got that. I'm getting my butt on that seat again. Yeah, so we got that lined up in uh, Shelbyville, Illinois tomorrow. So we'll be hopefully find all three. So see you on the trails. We create these videos just for fun and we love having you along for the ride. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, or if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. See you next time!